we don't get to hunt here nearly as much as we used to with so many things going on from great one grinds to new maps and just everything in between. But just getting on Leighton Lakes, seeing the map starting here at Belmont, it brings back so much nostalgia to over five years ago getting started in the game and really learning the ropes of how to play Call of the Wild. So I'm looking forward to a little Leighton hunt today in multiplayer, see if we can get any cool trophies from a map that really I think is underappreciated and is still in my opinion one of the absolute best. And even still, as long as it's been a thing, I just cannot get used to seeing Whitetail drinking on Leighton at this time. It is currently 9.25 and everything was synced up I think with the Riven Tuli update. So Whitetail across all maps drink at the same time now in that 8 to 12 window and we had 12 to 1500 on Leighton for probably 4 years and then randomly for like 1 or 2 updates 12 to 1600 and then finally everything gets linked up and Whitetail drink at the same time across all maps which I kind of like but I actually didn't mind when it was different drink times for the same species on multiple maps. I think it was made for you know sometimes a, a better reason to hunt a certain map. Say a species maybe like black bear that would drink at night on Leighton Lakes on Silver Ridge Peaks they drank in the day. I thought that was a cool thing but it definitely is nice as more species and more maps get added to Call of the Wild. It can be tough to just remember all that stuff offhand and things like the spreadsheets in the Discord can really help with that but it certainly does simplify it to have all of them drink at the same time regardless of the map but nice little gold there at 214. We have the Eckers 30 out of 6 uh, Prestige today just kind of switching up our medium game weapon and hopefully we get to use that a good bit. And I mean speaking of using the 30 odd 6 almost the exact same size whitetail spooked from what had to be another herd more whitetail over in there now late that's kind of a wonky one we might shoot that too but Leighton is kind of tough for deer now because they are so spread out across the map it's almost less predictable than ever where you're going to encounter the whitetail and to the best of my knowledge it's very different from map to map which again kind of makes Leighton appealing and because we haven't hunted Leighton that much since all the resets and redistributions in a way it does kind of feel like a new map but 214 score the second one we definitely messed up but still ended up with two golds for our first two harvests and then I think what is going to be a bronze for our third regardless the 30 out six made pretty quick work of him rather odd looking deer I have to say intestines and then back leg essentially so could have aimed a little further forward but just happened to notice that odd rack and I thought we should just see exactly what it looked like just to show we're up in this area of Willapeg, kind of in this southeast corner. Looks like it's not a bad spot for Whitetail. I'll be intrigued to see if we continue to run into more herds as we head south. And that'll answer that. Got a whole bunch out there. Now, what I want to see, they are nervous. So probably these are all ones that have spooked. I think in that case, we'll probably just let them go. No need to cause extra hunting pressure in multiplayer. We don't want to delete zones or anything. And just to kind of continue the theme here, I had mentioned Leighton feeling like a new map in a way, and that got me thinking. Lakes that maybe in the past were not really all that good, this lake over here in Willapeg, as far as I know, really only ever had rabbits at it. Definitely did not have whitetail, maybe moose at one time or something like that, but pretty cool to see a herd of whitetail up here as well, and again, that just is sort of what whitetail are on Leighton. You can get them just about anywhere. And I think on a map like this that has so much huntable ground, I mean, almost anywhere you go could seem like a good area to be. You've got all of the waterways, the lakes and stuff. The ability to potentially run into whitetail anywhere, especially when you're hunting during their drink time or their feed time, it just makes for a more enjoyable experience. But I do think Probably this is our biggest white tail of the bunch so far. 212 actually, so he's gonna be maybe our second biggest. All kind of roughly the same frame. I thought he was a little bigger from the side at that range, but double long even still with the 30 out 6 insta dropped him. And we'll try to get onto an area where maybe we can encounter something else along the way, but up here can be kind of cool. Let's see if there's white tail in that area. There definitely used to be. From the looks of things. There's just about everything except whitetail. I've seen elk tracks, blacktail tracks, coyote tracks, 
This actually used to be a really good spot for Whitetail Jackrabbit, but they don't seem to be up here either. So I want to take a quick look at this lake. And unless there's maybe something feeding around it, because I don't expect any Whitetail to be drinking at it, it may be a spot worth visiting later. Maybe when one of the other species that we have tracks of would be active. But can pretty much confirm Whitetail aren't really going to be frequenting this area very much. No way. A level one moose. That is probably not the reaction that you would have guessed I'd have. But I guess full disclosure on this, I've been prepping videos for a trip to Tennessee and on numerous occasions, I've hunted maps that have moose and have actually talked about knowing this was possible and wanting to get one. We've had a couple of pretty small level twos. But how about a level one to throw in the mix, 14 to 68? What an estimate. It's it's so hard to come by these. Over all the years that we've played Call of the Wild, and to really go back to the beginning of the video and, and the nostalgia factor a little bit of hunting on Layton, you think of the fact that moose were one of the release animals. They were on the first DLC map in Medved Taiga. They've since been added to Reventuli Coast, to Yukon Valley, and maybe we've had three level one males ever? Like, they're just really, really rare and got another one here kind of an odd thing to get that hype for but he is 404 kg a 39 score that is unbelievably tiny nearly 50 shy of silver well there's no doubting where that's gonna go that will head straight to the hall of shame pretty glad we got that i'd wasn't sure if we'd get one with true racks because I think we did have two with the legacy racks. That'll be the smallest though. There, there's no questioning that. And so maybe the first time this will ever be said about a moose of this size, but moving in the right direction in terms of score, we can see back there behind him. A pretty good size level four that should be. But let's go ahead and take this. We can probably get this multiplayer challenge harvesting four animals as long as we can get the moose. His health didn't start to go down. I can't imagine that wouldn't be a lung. And I want to focus on the one back there behind that. Pretty confident that'll be like a 240-ish, maybe 250s bull. Which ain't that bad. I mean, 248 to 302, he's definitely 240s. And by the way, that shot did indeed take down the level 3 moose, but our level 4 is right in through there. I think probably from this angle, should be a pretty doable shot. We'll even let him lift his head. I feel like we don't take advantage of the, that enough anymore because there was so long where they were bugged and didn't lift their head during their drink animation. That's every species, not just the moose, but doing it there, probably trying to get back used to it a little. Got our level three brown fur type 124 score. The next one should be, yeah, right about double that. I feel like it's kind of an odd rack, but my guess is with the estimate, it probably works out in his favor, a 252. I think it's like further back than normal, kind of set a little bit low, but right long and brown fur type again, and that gets us to three out of four on that multiplayer challenge. So if we get a chance at another bowl of any size, we'll probably go ahead and take that just to get the challenge done. I would say one like that ought to do a pretty decent level four. Actually, two max weight estimate level fours out there, but 350 out. I should also note, I didn't realize we're the only ones in this server, so if we lose this multiplayer challenge, that would be pretty sad. So, as long as we can actually get over there and claim it, that'll do. But, uh, not quite the competitive thing going on that I thought it could have been. And, I mean, if the other four is just gonna come back and stand there, we can drop him too and get two bull moose as we come down through here, but... Again, I hadn't realized that, who knows how long we've been the host of this server, but I think what we'll do is actually make the most of that opportunity and probably set it to elk tree time. We really don't do a lot of elk hunting anymore, and they're one of my favorite species still. As far as I know, they're still in areas like Runaki, which back in the day, that was never a thing you would encounter. So I think that could be a good way to kind of wrap up, but got the uneven rack there for that level four. That will actually accomplish the challenge since we claimed that one first. 
And the other one that we shot at 350, I think ought to be laying in here somewhere. A little easier to see at that range when the reeds aren't rendered. That makes a little more sense. I guess it floated over to there. So a little out of time to actually recover in this one, but a 345 meter hard shot there with the 300. 246 score, not too bad. Makes him our second biggest bull of the hunt and most likely going to stay that way unless we find another moose on our little elk adventure here. There may be new spots, but still some of the old spots apparently are not too bad. This is a Lake in Chila which has forever been pretty good for elk. And we've got what I can only imagine is going to be a gold. I think gold is 270 something if I remember right. Again, we just don't hunt these things that much anymore and I'd be surprised if that's correct. I, I For some reason I'm remembering 274, but that could very well be another species. Now the other thing to maybe keep an eye on is, to the best of my knowledge, bulls should travel in groups of five. So there either were two more back in there that we didn't see, or that could have been like three solos that shared the same drink zone. I don't know where that one was, but I mean, can I attempt to take that too? Would have been close. Vertebrae is my guess. One other thing about this spot though, and we'll see if it's still the case, over where we shot the second bull, there used to be an issue where animals just didn't leave tracks, and the bloodhound would be able to find them, but if you didn't have a bloodhound, it could be kind of tough to recover them, and considering that shot's gonna take a while to bring that bull down, that could be problematic. But our first elk is a 296 scoring gold, and let's see, gold's 272, so fairly close, probably remembering the correct species at least, 432 kilograms, and then the question is, is that other bull even going to go down? Could that be it? I doubt it, because it just died. I'm seeing some tracks here. We'll see if we can maybe find the correct ones. You know, actually, I think that was it. If we'd have just run a little bit forward, pretty sure he warning called and then just essentially tipped over, but we were on the vertebrae. Would have been a touch too far back regardless, but a 296 again, almost exactly the same score, and I think most likely just given where we are in the hunt and the location where we are on the map, I want to go check out this spot. I think elk might drink there now, so we'll give it a look. But we had to kind of try a different spot. There were no elk, at least on this server at the lake that we went to, but a max wood estimate level 4 here, who is absolutely not cooperating. That I think that was going to be a long shot. And before we get too distracted, I want to check over on that side. I thought that was going to be a level 5. I was sure we just clutched one, but it's actually not even a max weight estimate. It used to be a diamond rack, and it may still be. I'm actually not certain of that. Decent chance, though, I think, that he outscores the max weight estimate for we just shot. We'll have to pay attention to that, but still, a couple of pretty good bulls up here. This is the little tiny lake over the north side of Mount Leviathan, and perhaps the best news with the fact that we did not end up having a diamond elk today is the fact that the level one moose gets to steal the show in the hall of shame so let's grab this pay attention to the score of 322 i think that will be tough to top but their scoring is very simple main beam length length of times circumference there's a lot of main beam length in the one that we just shot over here so maybe I mean, he's got the number of tines, and spread doesn't matter. 299, you know, not that their score has ever made a ton of sense. Maybe it's the fact that he really only is a 5x5. Five five. Maybe that's what cost him? I didn't pay enough attention to the true score on the other one, quite honestly, but I'm surprised it's 20 lower. Regardless, a couple of pretty decent bulls. And we can jump back to the Hall of Shame Lodge and take a peek at the level 1 moose that we finally were able to get down today. So I'd be interested to know 
Is this a level one legacy rack moose? I think it probably is at 32 score. It almost has to be. This is a silver cape buffalo at the end of the day, so I think we'll actually take that down. We'll replace it with a 39 scoring bronze Truax moose, and this is the thing about them. They're fairly similar, but I think the Truax one is actually just a touch smaller. The beams might be longer, but I think the frame itself and the mass is a little bit less. Hard to tell, I mean they're roughly the same score on a different scoring system, so the old scoring system would have been, like, I guess, translated is maybe the best term to the new system, and they don't always line up exactly with the current true scores. Either way, that is something I've been wanting to get. Not exactly a trophy per se from Layton, but I'm pretty happy with it, uh, as probably it was evidenced by my reaction when spotting it. But anyway, always good to get back out on Layton. Always good to add something to a trophy lodge, whether it is a Hall of Shame animal or a main lodge edition. And I'm looking forward to getting back out there. We'll have to do that again sometime in the near future. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.